everybody my name is Jason Creel in this video I'm going to show you how to fix an ugly lawn full of carpet grass or maybe just got a little bit of carpet grass but there's something you need to make sure that you're not going to do a huge mistake so I want to let you know about that I'm also going to show you the exact product I'm using and how much to put when you mix it up and then we're going to also spray the weed and watch it and show you the weed actually die on the video okay and hopefully we'll build a, a dragon on long enough to at least you see that it's working if it's not completely dead so today's video is sponsored by my friends at yardbook if you are in the lawn care business and need a software i would encourage you to check out yardbook.com weed we're talking about is carpet grass and this is carpet grass now it becomes a little bit easier to tell apart uh, once it goes to a seed head unfortunately i don't see a seed head coming off of it yet but I want to describe that to you if I can. Well, let me see here. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know if that's going to be the, a seed head or not from carpet grass. But it won't be long. Um, you see here the seed head coming off Bermuda grass. This is primarily a Bermuda grass lawn, and you can see here um, the seed head. Now carpet grass. You see, you see how this one has multiple forks coming off of it. Now carpet grass is just going to have a, a classic Y seed head at the top and then it has one kicker coming off the side so you have the y and just below the y will be one more coming off just to one side not two below it but just one so y with a kicker below the y okay now the classic mistake i'm wanting you to really not make when you when you're dealing with carpet grass and this is going to be very important is because sometimes if, if for us in with warm season grasses the grass that i would most likely confused carpet grass with is centipede grass okay so the product we're going to show you on how to control um, carpet grass if you think you have a centipede lawn and it turns out you got a carpet grass lawn and you go out there and, and you end up killing a lot of your lawn okay that's what we don't want to happen so this is carpet grass uh it's it's in between as far as the blade goes in between the the width of the blade is in between st augustine and centipede so let me go show you some centipede and st augustine so you can see the difference again if it once it puts up a seed head it's very easy to determine because you know to be honest with you centipede seed head looks about like that it's just one little strand sticking up okay it's it's basically nothing and the centipede i mean it just has a different look to it. it's much more uniform makes a much better turf grass this is a little bit more wild and you know just doesn't look as good to me but let me show you st augustine centipede so you make sure not to get them confused well here's some st augustine grass and you see how it's it's running and, and um, doing great but you know what centipede and uh, carpet grass do the same thing but you can see uh, actually the width of this is, is actually pretty close to the st augustine grass but i would still say the st augustine is is slightly wider you see the i'm holding the uh, carpet grass in my uh, thumb there and then the, the st augustine to, to the right of it so uh, different have a different color and, and shade again I, I wouldn't say that uh st augustine is easily confused with it as centipede so let me go show you the centipede let me show you carpet grass from a distance so you see i'm looking at a a slightly drought stressed bermuda lawn you have bermuda 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 but then it's it's just that's carpet grass you see it from a distance and it just looks ugly okay uh, just i i don't know I, I don't i don't like it uh i don't like the way it looks let me pull a piece off and we'll go compare it with centipede another example can you find the carpet grass it is right there okay and bermuda 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 but again it's going to blend in much easier with uh, centipede and so here's the carpet grass again and this is a centipede lawn now it's not a very well kept centipede lawn and it's under some drought stress so the the leaf blades actually look more narrow than they would if it had plenty of water centipede just has a much more uniform look to it and you can see there's definitely a difference in the width of the leaf blade very important don't get your carpet grass confused with the other grasses and go out there and try to kill it and end up killing half your lawn that's not going to be a good thing if you need to let it go to seed so you can obviously see the seed head difference then, then do that all right so what product are we going to use let me show you this is a product we use a lot of times in warm season grasses it's celsius it's very versatile it can uh, have some effect on uh, annual and perennial weeds some grassy weeds even some sedges 
uh, has some effect on those as well. So it's very uh, versatile product. You can, you can use it on St. Augustine, Centipede, Bermuda, Zoysia Lawn. So it's, it's a great product, okay? And we use it a lot. Now, um, it comes sometimes with a, like a measuring cap like this. I don't like that as good as this measuring spoon. So when I mix this product, I'm just putting it in a two gallon sprayer here and i put one scoop you see it's got a, a smaller side to the scoop here and a larger side so i put one large scoop per gallon of water so in a two gallon sprayer i'm going to put two large scoops and uh now if i'm uh, if i'm using this little measuring cone which again i don't like um, but if i do that then i might go to the high rate and you don't have to use the high rate but if you go to the high rate you just want to spray lightly so you see that 0.226 that would be the high rate for two gallons, okay? So I think it's 0.113, and you can check the label on this, is the high rate for 1,000 square feet, which oftentimes is equated with one gallon. So I put 2.226 and put it in two gallons, but now that's if you're spraying lightly. So if you're gonna go out there and spray it heavy, you need to put less than that. So I just do that and then spray it lightly. So I put that in the sprayer and then I put a little bit of surfactant in there and makes the, the application more effective. So I've actually already got it mixed up, already put two scoops in there with the surfactant. Now we're going to go spray the carpet grass and then we're going to keep an eye on it and see how well it works. I'll put some links to the sprayer to Celsius in the description if you want to check those out. Make sure you're wearing your PPE. I've got rubber gloves, rubber boots, long sleeves, long pants on and I'm gonna put uh, some sunglasses on, so make sure you protect yourself, follow the label uh, when you're making your application. All right, so I've got it mixed up already. I've got the carpet grass right here. Uh, I've got it marked with a flag. I'm gonna spray two different patches of it, and then there's another small patch that I'm gonna leave untreated. We'll compare what's been sprayed with what, what hasn't been sprayed. And also, I want you to, to also show that the Bermuda grass, we're gonna spray some on the Bermuda grass we'll be able to show that it's not damaged during the application. So let's get to spraying. All right, we'll check back on the results shortly and, and see what happens. All right, let's check in on the carpet grass. It's been about eight days since the initial application. To be honest with you, this is slow. I wanted to show it to you, so we, we, we may have to track this for several weeks to get the results we're looking for. All right, here's the two plots that we sprayed. We'll take a look at that. And there are, there is some browning going on in the, uh, it, I can see it fading out in color. And we'll look at a, a healthy one in a minute. And then the other one that we sprayed, it's right here. And again, a little bit of discoloration. Let's check out uh, one that's not been sprayed right here. And, you know, it, it's visibly greener. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera. It's also growing a little bit taller. That's This is sticking up an inch or two above the Bermuda grass where the other is not really growing as much. So, you know, it's working. It's just slow, so we're gonna keep giving it more time. So let's check and see what's happening now. Seems like we looked at it before and it wasn't much happening at all. But I'm finally starting to see some some noticeable discoloration. I'll show you some that hasn't been sprayed. This is uh, the first plot. Let me show you the second plot that we also sprayed. We've had some rain and fertilizer, so the, the grass is nice and green. And you can see the carpet grass fading out. Again, I think we're in for a slow, long journey. Now let's see some that has not been sprayed to compare. And hopefully you can see the difference in the color there. That's just nice and green. And so we're hoping to knock out the carpet grass so the Bermuda grass can fill in, make a thing of the past. Obviously a second application will probably speed things up, but I'm wanting to see if it'll die after one application. All right, another checkup on the carpet grass. It's probably been at least two weeks since I sprayed it. Slow weed to die, but we're starting to see some serious action. Let me show you what it looks like. The grass needs cut, but you can obviously see that the grass is not very damaged and you can see the carpet grass really uh, turning colors and, and so i'm going to mow the grass soon we'll get another look i'm going to probably check back in with it one more time it may take another week or two i don't know uh, or i may even give it a second application try to finish it off i'd like to show you it completely crunchy it is dying it's just taking forever uh, but you can see where it's not very noticeable in the lawn because the bermuda grass is taking over 
the damaged weed. Compare that with one that has not been sprayed and you can see where it is uh, dominating the Bermuda grass and actually sticks up higher than the Bermuda grass if you look at it from this perspective. Uh, so anyway, you can see a big difference now. And again, another sample here. You can see the discoloration basically stopped growing and Bermuda grass starting to fill in. So it, it's working, okay? We're not winning any races, but it's definitely working. We'll check back one more time. So it's been about two and a half weeks. I'm ready to wrap up the videos. Let me show you the results. It's not perfect. I could drag it out longer, uh, but I think we got pretty good results. Let's see what's going on. Now you can see where the flag is. That's where the carpet grass is. There's a flag over there. And to be honest, from this distance, you'd have a hard press time even seeing the carpet grass out there. Now, unlike that, let me show you from here, I can see that bright green spot right there, which is the carpet grass. So you see I get closer. So that's what the untreated carpet grass looks like. It sticks out uh, in, like a sore thumb in this Bermuda lawn. And you can see there what it looks like. Now what's been treated, it's not growing. The Bermuda grass is filling in. Yeah, from a distance, you can barely see it. And I think it'll continue to deteriorate, but you can see how, if I mow this grass, I mean, it's barely gonna be noticeable. So I'm gonna call it a success. Of course, obviously you can make a second application or just give it more time. It'll probably continue to die. Same thing with this. This uh, maybe was a little bigger patch. Uh, the Bermuda grass is, uh, needs to fill in a little bit where where the carpet grass was. So it's left a, a little bit of a bare spot. All right, Celsius is the product you use to control carpet grass in a Bermuda lawn, Zoysia lawn, Centipede lawn, St. Augustine lawn. Uh, it's a great product. I use it for a, a lot of weeds, honestly. And they just came out with a Celsius Extra product that I'm trying on another video. Appreciate you watching. Uh, the Celsius Extra, by the way, is, is Celsius, plus it has a, a Sedge product in it. So if you want to do the you know control all the same weeds that Celsius would control but also give you more control on your sedges uh, without having to mix in an extra sedge product it's already mixed in there for you thanks for watching I'm Jason Creel if you hadn't done so subscribe to the channel I just recently hit a hundred thousand subscribers there's a lot of videos on the channel so you may want to watch more videos that will be popping up on your screen shortly or if you're in the weed control and fertilization business thinking about getting into that side of the business or mowing business mosquito spraying business a lot of resources at LawnCareLife.com. We'll see you guys in the next video.